Hello, Cancer. We are taking a look at the rest of May for you. The title will be based off of what shows up most importantly. And I'll take a look at you, your personal obstacles, love, life, career, how others around you view you and the quality of them and any advice from spirit. Good things coming your way and Aries through Pisces. All right, Cancer. Let's see how things are going for you. Page of Swords. Good news right out the gate. This is the overall energy. So for the rest of May, if we want to stop right here, it's good news coming in. All right. Maybe news that you've been waiting on. Um, somebody looking for the right things to say to you. Um, somebody kind of hesitant, kind of keeping an eye, not sure how to approach you. It could be legal stuff. It could be internet stuff. It could be um, paperwork. It could be things that you've been waiting on and it's finally coming in for you. All right. But overall, this is uh, mental clarity here. So think your mind being cleared for the rest of the couple weeks here. So things looking really good for you. And it seems like things move in a lot of good news. All right. So let's see how this plays out. We have you. Look at you, the two of swords. So you have this confusion, a little uncertain. Well, we just cleared that up for you. All right. And your personal obstacles, the Hermit card, needing to get out of your comfort zone, all right? Maybe you've been withdrawn or you've withdrawn yourself from something or a situation, or it's time for you to kind of go within and um, not focus on the external world. Whenever I see the Hermit card, that's what I think of. I think... You know, it's time to go within. It's time to take a step back. You know, if you're getting distracted with that two of swords, feeling a sense of uncertainty if you're going on the right path, wondering if you've made the right choices in the past, you know, not feeling exactly sure. Maybe some of you feeling like you want to pull back away. You want to isolate. You want to withdraw. All right. And I just feel like whatever it is you're deciding to do is going to turn out in your favor. I mean, you're having these thoughts for a reason. You do have the hermit card. So you're very wise. You know what you need to do. And for some of you, it could be just taking your focus off of what's going on around you just so you can clear your head. And I think that's why spirit needed you to hear this at first. All right. So let's see love. Ooh, the lover's card. You have a choice to make when it comes to love, Cancer. All right. You have a choice. Now you get the two of swords and you have the lover's card. Right? Gemini and Virgo energy here. It doesn't have to be that sign, but those are the signs for those of you that want to hear the sign. All right. Some of you could be that you're at a distance or you have, you've been blocked or, you know, or you just, you, you don't have the connection that you want with somebody here with the hermit card because the hermit card can be my solo card, my single card. All right. Some of you may not be sure that you made the right decision regarding a partner, right? Maybe it was very passionate at first. Maybe everything was great. Maybe things aren't going as well as you thought, right? Um, but maybe they are, you know, maybe they are. Maybe you're just going through a little bit of an obstacle and you're paying attention to the wrong details. Might be time, like I said, to go within and reflect on what your priorities are here. But I do see a choice here. So you could have somebody else on your mind. The Two of Swords does say it could be somebody that you don't see eye to eye with or maybe you've walked away from because you didn't see eye to eye with and then you walk towards another person, but you're still having uncertainty. Um, there seems to be some clarity here within May for you. All right, so let's see life, career, and how others see you as well. Life and career has got, oh my God, it's weighing on you. The Ten of Wands. But the good news about the Ten of Wands is, you know, you you carried all those wands. You put the responsibilities on yourself, and it looks as though you've made it home. You're about to drop all those wands and have a fresh start here. So it does look as though your hard work's paying off, but I do see you burnt out. So again, when you're burnt out like this with this energy, these types of decisions can seem hard to make because because um, you're you're so worn down and burnt out that the outside world is um, is is just wearing you out even more. Like you have no room, no mental capacity, right, for anything else. All right, so I feel like working careers come in this heavy burden on you. It's about releasing some of those responsibilities and burdens now. You did all the work. You don't have to, I don't think you have to work this hard, at Cancer. I think maybe you have something on your mind and you may put your mind, you may put yourself into work more. So it's just wearing you out. But what's going to happen with the Ten of Wands too is you can do that all you want. I do it. Right? I don't want to deal with what's going on here. So I'm just going to work more. And then next thing you know, you crash and burn because you have to figure it out. We need a balance in our life. All right. Um, you just need a balance in your life. 
All right, so people around you, the Knight of Swords, all right, they see you very brave, all right, always going, taking action, they trust you, uh, a risk taker, they just see you very strong, this is like my military energy, you know, um, you go after what you want, and you um, don't hold back, you're very honest and truthful, and you might be showing up to other people in your life, like you've got it all together, and so I'm tapping into, I'm a score. I'm tapping into what lies beneath, you know, and it seems as though you're putting on a good front, a good shield, right? But you are a risk taker. Nothing's going to hold you back. You're going to get through this no matter what. So this is just a temporary. And I feel like, like I said, the rest of May is going to smooth out for you. Um, and I do think it comes down to this decision here as well. Um, it might not be as bad as you think. It's just that you're letting the world get or your work in the world get to you right now. And so maybe people do rely on you a lot. They see you as the strong one or they see you as the one that is wise, smart, brave. You get shit done um, and you go after what you want and you speak your truth. So you may take on a lot of responsibilities of the people around you. And this could be why you're feeling like withdrawn or maybe you need to withdraw a little bit and isolate and go within and just give yourself a little bit of space what does a uh, spirit have for you the world card oh you have a major accomplishment coming up all your hard work is paying off all right you're going to see major success here uh, completion of this chapter within may so everything that you've been working really hard to uh, achieve is bringing you to this world card which is a major accomplishment in your life all right you're closing a chapter and it looks like some of you are ready to move on to the next chapter and maybe that's where you have a little bit of uncertainty. Maybe some of you do have a choice to make between two people and you're deciding now what's the next chapter going to be like. Maybe I want something a little bit more stable. Um, but remember, the Knight of Swords says you got to take a risk too. So if you are in a partnership, um, it's about taking a risk and, you know, or deciding whether they're good for you or not. And But it seems as though some of you are ready for the next chapter of your life. All right. So here's the thing. I just wanted to clarify the lover's card. You're still grieving a loss of somebody or you've had a lot of failed relationships, which is common for, you know, I mean, a lot of people. It depends on your age, I guess. But it's um, it's looking as though the only thing that's holding you back is a fear of loss, a fear or still holding on or grieving or having regrets or sadness about um, failed relationships. And so some of you feel more connected to yourself or alone or afraid to connect to a person, but it does look like you have somebody or two people around that you really do have a lot of passion for. And you've got, it looks as though you just have to allow yourself to open up and, um, and allow yourself to have this relationship in your life. This could be a reconciliation with somebody that you've, um, see, it's going, it's going to do this guys, because we got the two of swords, we got the five of cups and we got the lover's card, choice card, grieve and loss, two of swords, need to make a decision, a difficult decision. So you have to decide between two. Do I move on with somebody or do I reconcile with somebody from my past is what you're getting. But you got the good news card. So things, you're going to figure this out, Cancer. You're going to figure this out. Let's see what, um, what oracle cards you have. So we got disappointment in a friend or lover. So some of you are up against that. Some of you are not as happy with maybe the choice that you made. All right. And maybe some of you, it's about maybe you're feeling burdened and overstressed. It's just you're not happy here. Um, that could, you know, just going off of what I said. And this is about taking a risk and um, doing what you need to do. Speaking your truth. All right. The Knight of Swords does not hold back. Oh, come on. These cards, guys. What's going on, Cancer? Let me get, um, and maybe this disappointment is something that you'll pass, you know, that'll pass. You know what I mean? Um, nobody's perfect either. So we've got financial pinch. So some of you are finding yourself in a financial pinch and maybe you are feeling responsible for a lover. You're taking care of everything. Um, I do have a firecracker excitement. Some of you are lacking excitement with that 10 of wands and you're missing that and you're wanting it. For some of you, there's dealings or relationship with an older man. Um, this could also, this the hermit card could be an older man. It also could be some of you masculine out there feeling like you're getting older and you, you're not, you're tired of this and you want something else. We got the moon energies. That's you, Cancer. Changes coming in your life. You need changes. You got to make the choices here. And we have get back to the basics. Get back to what it is you really, really want and desire. All right. Aries through Pisces for my Cancers. Aries through Pisces. 
Aries through Pisces. Let me get a good shuffle on these for you. Aries, I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Taurus, you were in my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in. I betrayed your trust. Gemini, I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Cancer, time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. Leo, I see you in the face of strangers. You're always with me. Virgo, my spirit always is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Libra, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. Scorpio, the distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. Sagittarius, when times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Capricorn, I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Aquarius, it hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. And Pisces, I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. I love you, Cancer. You got this. Remember, the first card I pulled for you is good news. Take care.